We have seen two trailers for the new in-development Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So far, we've only seen a handful of aircraft have been showcased in these 2024 trailers. In this video, we take a detailed look of the showcased and confirmed aircraft that are in the trailer. Welcome to part one. Let's jump into the video. When Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 was released, the simulator was launched with three different editions, the standard, the deluxe, and the premium deluxe, each of these with their own sets of aircraft. The standard edition included 20 different aircraft, additional five more was with the deluxe and additional five more on top of that for the premium deluxe edition. Simmers who purchased the premium edition had a total of 30 aircraft ranging from small single engine GA right up to the queen of the skies, the Boeing 747. All of these original aircraft were developed by the Serbo team and after the release of the sim, it was clear that simmers weren't exactly happy with the default aircraft which lacked the detail systems and features. During the current lifespan of the 2020 platform, the Microsoft and the Servo teams had to go back and retrace their steps, making some of these aircraft more detailed by hiring third-party developers such as Anybuilds and working title to enhance some of the core default aircraft. With Flight Sim 2024, the Microsoft team mentions we will see more default detailed aircraft with the launch and they will include some features such as doors opening and closing, improved aerodynamics and physics, improved aircraft systems which means electronic, pneumatic, fuel and hydraulics, deeper and wider avionics systems, cockpit tablet available for all default aircraft and also a wear and tear system. The first trailer of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 showcased some of these default aircraft we will see in this new sim, so let's go and take a closer look. Kicking off the first aircraft, which is the Cirrus SF-50 Vision Jet. The Cirrus Vision Jet is a single engine light jet designed by Cirrus Aircraft. First flew in 2008 and still in production to this day with over 500 of these aircraft have been delivered. It's capable to take up to six passengers with a cruise speed of about 300 plus knots and a range up to 600 miles. This Cirrus aircraft is capable of takeoff from as little as 2,000 feet runways. FlightFX was announced as the developer of the Cirrus Vision Jet with their version of their Vision Jet already in the sim for 2020 and is still available to be purchased on their website through their store. FlightFX Vision Jet currently comes with a custom VAMS system that is for the Cirrus aircraft, three different seating configurations, custom G3000 integration checklist, engine and aircraft performance gauges, accurate custom sound design, selectable ground power unit, custom emergency gear deployment, and many ground assets. These are some of the many features that are available with FlightFX version of the jet for now. So we are expecting to see a majority of these features to be included Included with the default version unless we see some new surprises. The Microsoft team have chosen the Vision Jet to be one of its aircraft for its VIP charter career mode that we're seeing with this new sim. FlightFX is also the team behind the Jetson 1 aircraft which seems to be built from scratch and it hasn't been released on the 2020 platform by the team as yet. The Jetson 1 is an electric EVTEL aircraft with 102 horsepower battery operated aircraft. It has 8 engines and seats 1. The Jetson really is more of a hobby aircraft as it only has enough power for 20 minutes of flight and speeds up to 100 kilometers per hour. The next aircraft we are taking a look at is the Super Transporter aka the Airbus Beluga XL. Airbus's manufacturing facilities are dispersed throughout France and all over the globe and Airbus themselves were looking at realigning their older fleet of aircraft that were aging and the Beluga was needed to replace the aging fleet to transport aircraft wings and fuselage. The Beluga was developed from the A300-600 and first flew in 1994 with five being produced in total. Close developer friends of Microsoft, Anybuilds have partnered with Microsoft on many occasions and are very familiar with the Beluga and has released the Beluga on other simulators. 
we hope that any builds Beluga will be as realistic as what we have seen with their other um, partner projects releases such as the A310 and the A320 Neo and even the Beluga over on X-Plane. The Microsoft team have chosen the Beluga to be part of its transport cargo career mode and this one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to fly knock that subscribe button if you are enjoying our 2024 microsoft flight simulator coverage and you want to see more of it we plan to follow the development of this new flight sim right up to its release and beyond like we did with the 2020 sim so please hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free and it really helps the channel to grow Thank you very much for your support. The Atlas 400M is another aircraft that any builds will be developing in partnership with Microsoft. This aircraft is a European four engine turbo prop military transport aircraft and it's been designed by Airbus military to replace the aging Transel C-160 and Hercules. First flown in 2009 and still in service today by the German, French, Royal and Spanish Air Forces with 124 of the A4 100M in use today. The Microsoft team has chosen the A400 along with the Beluga to be part of its transport cargo career modes. Moving on to this very unique aircraft which is the Cessna 188 AG air truck. Carinado is no stranger to the air truck as they have developed a version in other simulator platforms in the past including FSX P3D versions 2 through to 4. It's made sense that Microsoft and Sobo would pair up with Carinado for this particular aircraft. The Microsoft team plans to use the Cessna for its agricultural career mode in the new 2024 sim and the Cessna 188 has a whole family of light agricultural aircraft. They were produced from 1966 to 1983 with a whopping 3,975 built and many of them are still in service today. With Carinata's version of the Ag truck, we may see features as we've seen with their previous versions such as detailed flight mechanics, custom sound set, high detail model, real weight reductions as you drop the chemical liquids out of the plane. The Ag truck is made to get in and out of tight places and I'm for one sure looking forward to having a fly with this one it should be a lot of fun yeah a look at the fairchild a10 from dc designs the fairchild a10 thunderbolt was announced as being developed by dc designs over two years ago and dc designs mentioned that the microsoft team had purchased the a10 project from them to use as a default aircraft about over one year ago according to dc designs the aircraft we've seen in the first trailer of the 2024 videos was a very early version of the A-10. The A-10 Thunderbolt has been a long-standing workhorse for the US Air Force for its unique capabilities. The A-10 is a twin turbo straight-wing subsonic aircraft that also commonly known as the Warthog. 716 of these were built from 1972 to 1984 and still in service today. There is no feature list that has been confirmed from DC Designs but we should expect to see a similar fidelity than what we've seen with their other DC Designs aircraft such as detail 3D interior and exterior modeling, number of different animations, detailed lighting and functional copy. DC Designs are not known for the highly complex detailed aircraft but it should be a detail enough to have some great fun when it comes to a default aircraft of the A-10 in the 2024 sim. This next very interesting helicopter is the Ericsson S64 air crane and it has a really interesting history. Originally designed by Suwoski, the S64 only had a few of these that were purchased under that brand and the project was purchased by Ericsson who made more than 1,200 improvements to the helicopter. The air crane is used for many different roles such as fire suppression, civil protection, heavier lifting construction and timber harvesting. Each air crane when sold is given a individual nickname by the Ericsson company such as Elvis or the Incredible Hulk are some of the famous ones. Microsoft have partnered with a long term flight sim developer Blackbird formerly known as Milvis who have been creating many high detail civil and military aircraft for FSX P3D and now Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The Microsoft team plans to use the Skycrane in their firefighting and helicopter cargo transport careers 
for the career mode of the new sim. There are three other aircraft that appear in the trailer one for 2024, and they are being developed by the in-house Sobo team. The first one is the Cessna 208, which was released in the 2020 sim. So I'm assuming the team are using some of the assets with this one, and we are expecting it might see a little bit of an update for the release. The other Sobo releases is the H125 helicopter, which is to be used with the search and rescue career mode. The first one is the Cessna 208, which was released in the 2020 sim by the team, which we're hoping and expecting to see a little bit of an update for that aircraft when it is released in the 2024 sim. And we are expecting the Cessna to be used for when it comes to a skydiving role within the career mode. Another Asobe release is the H125 helicopter, which is to be used for search and rescue in the career mode, and also the CL415 water bomber, which will be used in a firefighting career mode. These are only 10 aircraft that we have seen in trailer one, and if we go from what happened with the 2020 flight sim release, we have many more new aircraft to be announced and showcased. We are not sure if any of these will be part of the standard edition or will we see some of these aircraft be included in other editions of the sim like we saw with the 2020 release. That being said, we are very much looking forward to seeing what Microsoft and Asoba have installed when it comes to the default fleet. Consider subscribing to the channel to see more Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 videos like this and part two is coming soon as well as stay up to date with all the new Flight Sim development news with 2024 and we will see you in another video or stream real soon.